Hello everyone and welcome back to Sam and Max. So if you were here with me last episode, guys, we've just learned a new technique, and that is interrogation. <laughs> with Sam. It's weird. It's very, very weird. So let's get back in, because I think, I've been thinking about this now for the last five, ten minutes or so. I think we need to go to the sign spinner again, because he never mentioned anything about being pulled down by Frank Air or the tourist. I'm back! Now where's Skunk Ape? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the You're lying! No, I'm not. Yes, you I are. haven't seen the general, and I defy anyone to say otherwise. Go on. As I was saying, since Skunkapi's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science spinner. It's a very fulfilling. Hurry it up! I mean, enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of this uh, gloriously filthy work, metropolis. Again, um, he's still Where's Skunk Ape? I already told you. I You're never lying. forget his final terrified howl as it echoed. You're lying! No, I'm not. Go on. As I was saying, since Skunk Ape's in prison, abandoned violence for a career as a sign spinner. Reevaluating your life choices? What does that even mean? Skunkapi's defeat made me take a really hard look at myself. Honestly, is there anything more pathetic than a middle-aged space gorilla waving his blaster around the galaxy like some kind of teenager? How about a dead partner? The only way to break the cycle was to just walk away. Now I have a wonderful job as a sign spinner and a girlfriend in the village. I don't even have to shoot anyone. How nice for you. I mean, enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Spoken yes, the them. rat. He certainly seems plugged into the ins and outs of this gloriously filthy mm. metropolis. Hey, don't you want to know about our baby iguana seal? What do you know? I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah. Poor fellow was wandering around in cycles, scaring all the kitties with his... Where? Hey, take it easy, big fella. I sent him right over that away, about two miles. Anyway, I was almost done helping the guy, see? When BAM! All of a sudden, this space ape comes barreling down the street, fighting with some other mook. A space ape carrying a brain! Skunk Ape. I hadn't seen anything that weird since Aunt Jacqueline's vacation slides from Pismo Beach with the jellyfish on the water skis. Hurry it up! So I grabbed the tourists and we ducked behind a bunch of crates with the other gorilla. We kept our heads down until the fight moved on down the street. And that's all I know about the space ape what took your buddy's brain. No fooling. That's all I know. I don't know no more. You lie! Hey, Sam, I never lie about my cowardice. I'm really proud of it. So now what? Game. One more time. What do you know about my partner's brain? It's like I was telling you. I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah. Poor fellow was wandering around in so Don't lie to me, Frankie. I talked to your tourist, and it looks to me like you sent him over to the wrong side of town to get rolled by your rat pack. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But this conversation is over. I ain't saying nothing till I get some legal representation. Annoy for some people. Trample... Do you want a lawyer? Here's an attorney from Smith & Wesson. Okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Sheesh. Like you guessed, I gave the tourist directions to the bad side of town, but I was just winding them up, really. 
Hey, ask me, the schmuck deserved it. Acting all high and... What? You know, the bad side of town? Hoboville, Flemberg, Broken Corners, that area. Hmm. Anyway, when the big fight broke out, me, the tourist, and the other gorilla ducked down behind the crate, and I, uh, picked their pockets. The tourist was loaded with high-exchange European stuff, but all the- Other gorilla? What other gorilla? Believe it or not, it was another space ape. He was spinning a sign for some pet store, the poor schlub. So, that dirty punk sign spinner did see Skunk Ape. Anyway, after the fight moved on, the tourist got a nice souvenir for his trouble, and I skedaddled back here. And that's all I know, honest. Ask anybody. They'll vouch for old Frankie, if they know what's good for him, that is. So he didn't. So that tourist Stick around. didn't leave. I may be back. I shall count the minutes. Let's go back to the tourist first. Something Frankie said about the tourist was sticking in my craw like a spoonful of peanut butter, chunky style. Oh no, the chunky isn't good. That's a... Uh... Ooh, a repeat performance! Let's run through it one more time, and speak slowly, I'm an American! As I said before, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. You know, back in Europe, I heard so many warnings about your country's threats, but this Frankie was so... Then why? I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of the sudden a Weltraum liebe Wachtzauberkrieg erupted in the middle of one of your asphalt fjords. At least I think it was a Weltraum liebe Wachtzauberkrieg. It might have been more of an Ödela spoken. What happened yeah. next? After the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty-handled and ipple-skippled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the clothes on my back. Now we know Nobody that's else? a lie. Where's my I'm mouse? starting Let's to go. think that this... Don't play innocent with me, metric lover. The rat saw you pick up something after the fight. Now spill! Yeah, yeah, it's true. I took a souvenir from the fight. I didn't think anyone would notice. Here. Norrington? Who the heck is Norrington? I don't know, I don't know. Just don't hurt me. You Americans are all animals! Animals! Shush. Finally, a clue. Norrington. The name rang fewer bells than a sleigh in July. Fortunately, it didn't need to. Okay, let's get them... Yeah, if we do this, then we'll go back to the age. Crimetron, do your stuff! What do you mean, not found in database? The Crime Tron requires additional clues to make an informed deduction. Clues? I haven't got time for clues. Max's body is starting to smell. Differently. Then maybe you should stop yelling at my girlfriend and start with the clue hyphen finding. <laughs> Sam has really took a dark turn, so let's go back to the science spinner. We know he's lying. I'm back. Now where's Skunk Ape? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. That's a lie. I'll never forget his final terrified howl. Is that story ain't gonna wash, Bonzo. Your pal Frankie told me all about how you and he hit from a fight between Skunk Ape and some other guy. Now make with the lip flapping, and I better like what I hear. It's, it's true. A few of your Earth minutes ago, I was spinning my sign for Frankie the Rat and a tourist when General Skunkape came running down the street, chasing after a strangely garbed man. To my everlasting shame, I cowered behind a crate like a common Venusian bonobo. Strangely garbed? Yes, a man in a faded jacket and a strange hat. He seemed to be carrying a box of some sort. General Skunkapi was in hot pursuit. <sighs> After the general and the stranger fled the scene, I discovered that he had dropped this. <gasps> I'm surprised he didn't come back for it, but he appeared to be in something of a hurry. Uh, oh well. Give me that toy! No! I need it to get back in General Skunkapi's good graces! Once I return this artifact to the general, he'll forgive my temporary abandonment of his goals and welcome me back to his crew with open arms. 
Oh, how I've come to miss... Huh. You're fooling yourself, kid. What are you talking about? The only thing Skunk Ape's gonna welcome you with is a fistful of phasers. You can't go home again. You can't even get on the porch. You've tasted the apple, peed in the pool, bitten the hand that rocks the cradle. You're a sign spinner to him now, and that's all you're ever gonna be. You're right. It's hopeless. No matter what I do now, I'll never soar through the galaxy at my general's side ever again. So that's the putty. And I hate to tell you, but you're not a very good sign spinner either. I hated to see a grown gorilla cry, so I got in the car and looked for another lost soul to join me as I gazed into the abyss. The last time we saw the rhinoplasty toy, Max's special brain used it to turn into a bazooka. Now it was gonna lead me to the guy who stole that special brain. It wasn't exactly ironic, but I didn't care. Okay, Karantron, this is your last chance before I start looking for an upgrade. That, that's just me. Come on, you obsolete hunk of junk. Talk! We're Skunk Ape! Sam, no! Stop holding out on me! Get away from her, you brute. Finally. Audiences across the country say you're a monster, Sam. What have you become? The Museum of Mostly Natural History, the tarnished jewel of the city's once thriving museum district. Max and I always meant to visit, but we'd never gotten around to it. Now we were finally going to take in its thrilling and dubiously educational displays with a vengeance. Is kind of hilarious, really. Can I start walking again? All right, Skunk Ape, it's time to pay the Piper. Plus tax and applicable service fees. Let me think. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm going to walk now. Okay. What the hell's going off? <laughs> I'm confused and weirded out a little. So, by the sounds of it, from what we just got from the sign spinning ape, is. Well. Well. That skunk carp ape was actually chasing someone. And I think we're about to find the someone, not skunk carp ape. And the guy skunk carp ape was chasing had the devil's toy box, while the ape had the brain. So. I'll take a look around after I track down Max's brain. Fair enough. Is this where you want to go? Well, they done put Max's brain inside the toy box. If they've done that, that'd be quite cool. Deal to my superior technological might, Necromancer! And blow it out your Simeon hindquarters, barbarian! Skunky. And... Paperweight? He's looking pretty spry for a 120-year-old. And there's the devil's toy box. And is that... Sam! Get me out of here! This whole place smells like gorilla and patchouli! 
The interloper who foiled my scheme to collect the toys of power and re-imprisoned me in the penal zone? Sam? The great-grandson of the Podrun who put the kibosh on my intricate plan to unleash yogg Sagoth and take over the world? I hate that guy. I hate that guy! Yes, yes! A common enemy. I propose an alliance. You get the galaxy, I get the Earth? Agreed! Nice going, Bubble Brain. Don't blame me. I'm still trying to find the volume controls on this thing. Minions, after him! Sam? Aw, oh, man! Now I'm stuck in here with the alliance of C-list supervillains. Ah, it was way more fun when they were fighting. That's your fault, Max. That is 100... Look at all those cool psychic toys! Am I doing that? Indeed, yes. Your psychic brain melded to Monsieur Paperweight Sorcery and my super science have created a techno-arcanic whirlpool, drawing the toys to this convenient container. So that explains the giant sucking sound in my head. No, that's just you. Hey bad guys, how about a little light show? It's getting boring in here. I'm afraid that tonight's performance of Mundane Objects in Space, A Cosmic Odyssey, has been cancelled, so that the Yeneler and I might use the projector to summon the scattered psychic toys from the four corners of the globe. Ah. Hey you! Fez guy! What is it? Pretty grubby joint you got here. It's one of the finest collections in the world. Our yogg Sogoth tapestry is one of a kind. Gee, it'd be a shame if Skunk Ape's minions ripped your tapestry to shreds and used it for space towelettes. You know, accidentally. Yeah, don't even think of such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like how instead of having Max's head, it's now just his brain. Why are you and that big dumb ape, Skunk Ape, working together? General Skunkape and I have had a meeting of minds over our mutual loathing of you, your partner, and your forefathers. So that added up to what? One mind between you? I just hope his brain dead minions can dispose of your partner without injuring any of my employees. What are you and Corporal Butt Cheeks here doing with the Devil's Toy Box anyway? We're unwinding and rewiring the synapses of your brain to cast a blasphemous net of tech necromancy across the reality so that the toys of power may be properly encased within the Devil's Toy Box. Ah, that's about what I thought. Really? Repeat what I just said. Blah, blah, blah. I've got a wonderful brain! Blargy, blargy. More toys for me! You... How come you haven't aged a day since my great-grandpa kicked your demon-summoning butt back in the olden times? The horrible secret of my apparent immortality is too terrible to comprehend, and would surely drive an uninitiated mind such as yours to the brink of madness were I to utter it. So, Pilates then? Uh, so, Pilates then? You're a magical mumbo-jumbo guy, so maybe you can tell me. What's the deal with me having psychic powers all of a sudden? Am I going through the change? It's difficult to say. The only minds on this plane capable of wielding the toys of power are the insane, the simple, or the defective. Ah, <laughs> you've been reading my press, kid. But encountering two special brains in the same bloodline is practically unheard of. Your lineage is most peculiar and dangerous. You should see us during holiday cookouts. Is it bad that when he said the insane law that law, I went, well, that's what Max is, he's all three. Because that's what he is, he, he's all three of them. Could you try and stop your new buddy from zapping Sam with a banana-shaped ray gun or whatever? Why should I give a hell beast's hangnail about the fate of Summit's brood? Well, I, uh... <clears throat> Let me get back to you on that. That's so nice, Max. What are you doing in this two-bit museum anyway? 
Since my defeat at the hands of your meddling ancestors, I've insinuated myself into the archaeological community, painstakingly gathering the requisite toys of power necessary to reopen a doorway between our world and the realm of yogg -Sagoth. Nerd. All this talking with my brain is making me tired. Let's talk later. <laughs> Yes. Come on, boy. Let's see what the toy box me, you, your minions, and then paperweights. I still paperweights. Why are you working with that creepy paperweight guy? Monsieur Paperweight and I have reached an accommodation. Is that legally permitted in this state? I'm lending my scientific prowess to his mystical efforts to draw the toys of power into the so-called Devil's Toy Box. That spell thing Paperweight's working on, it wouldn't have something to do with summoning an elder god by the name of Yog sagoth would it? Now that you mention it, Yog sagoths name did come up once or twice. He's certainly touchy about that precious tapestry of his. Yes! Now that you and Fezhead have stopped fighting, could you tell me how my brain ended up outside my sexy little body? I took it from you after I was suddenly ejected from the penal zone. How come I didn't notice? You appeared to be entranced by a primitive form of Earth entertainment. Around here, we call it a popcorn coma, big guy. So you had a popcorn coma. What are you planning to do with my brain once this whole Toys for Jerks drive is over? The same thing I planned to do before you yanked me into your ASAT's penal zone. Plug your brain into my ship's central computer and use your terrifying psychic powers to conquer the galaxy. Couldn't we just use them to cruise for chicks? The ladies love a good spoon bending. That's curious. My scans indicate you don't even like girls. That's what you think. Could you try not to kill Sam? He's my designated driver whenever I'm in the sauce like this. All my minions won't kill him. That's good. They're under strict orders to drag him beaten and bloodied to my feet, so that he might witness my ascension to ruler of the galaxy. Just so long as he can still drive. Do you? So, long time no see. Long time? Yes, yes. If only you knew how long. It has been but a handful of Earth hours since you and your companion imprisoned me in the penal zone. <laughs> However, due to the temporal phase shifting of the zone, I experienced years of maddening nothingness during those fleeting hours. Ah, that would explain the tiny crow's feet around the eyes. Not to mention that telltale old gorilla smell. What are you doing here, anyway? The same thing I was doing all those years ago. Boring me to tears? Gathering the toys of power so that I might conquer the galaxy! Okay, let's talk about the toy box, shall we? What are you two scamps doing with the devil's toy box? We're tapping the nigh-infinite power of your brain to create a bifurcated vortex of technological and arcane energies to impel the toys of power to return to their point of origin via a five-dimensional matrix of quantum foam and sympathetic magics. Yes, of course! You have no idea what I just said, do you? No, but if it means more psychic toys for me, then vortex away! I see you've got your old band of lackeys back together. Yes, yes. My mighty army is once again ready to take on the galaxy. At least they would be if Paperweight's filthy security guard wasn't underfoot. That disease-carrying insect had better keep his pestilent thorax away from my boys. Do not want to get I see you've got your old band of lackeys back together. Yes, yes. My mighty army is once again ready to take on the galaxy. At least they would be if Paperweight's filthy security guard wasn't underfoot. 
That disease-carrying insect had better keep his pestilent thorax away from my boys. And that's all we're gonna get out of him, but I love uh, that. Could you go over there for a while? The way you're salivating over my anterior cortex is creeping me out, frankly. Very well. One thing I will give uh, Spin Carpe is much more polite. So, guys, we're gonna return back to the chase. These two goofs are about as entertaining as public radio. Oh, I sure hope Sam survived the attack of the minions. I've got a lot of complaining to do. Well, at least I know that Max's brain is still alive and kicking. I'll never get back in there while Skunk Ape and Paperweight are working together. Maybe I can break up those lovebirds from out here. Good idea now. Hmm. Let's go up this way and see if we can find anything. So we're not gonna go in anywhere. We're not going up there. Hey, it's me. Give or take four thousand years and a decent tailor. Ancient Egyptian brain screw. The engravings on this particular brain screw indicate that it was reserved for pharaohs, viziers, or other high ranking muckety mucks. Muckety mucks? The museum's copywriter must have thought no one would read that far. If you're going to putrefy and decompose, might as well do it in style. It's dioramas like this that make me appreciate the joys of central air conditioning, collective bargaining, and comfortable headwear. Can we actually phone anybody? It's too bad Max's mighty psychic brain isn't here. There's all sorts of new phone numbers on this courtesy phone. We'll have to remember that. That's no good for now. Oh, there's something down there. But you know what, guys? <gasps> I'm gonna be mean. <laughs> oh, meanish. I'm gonna end it here for now, guys. So this episode alone, we found Max's brain again. And we have his body. Let's hope he doesn't turn into a zombie. That's the only thing I can hope for. Plus. Didn't expect to see paper white, paper white, blah blah blah, blah any time soon. I really, really didn't. But guys, as usual, I hope you enjoy yourself. If you'd like, blah 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 blah. And if you'd like to, if you want to leave a like or a comment below, just let me know. I'm good. And that's all, and I shall see you all next week.